We've covered this topic uh, quite a bit about retail, the brick and mortar retail uh, sales and how so many uh, major retailers are closing or, or closing many of their stores. Now, shares of Amazon.com hit their sixth straight record close back on Wednesday, April 5th. Uh, marks the stock's longest streak of record since July 2013, closing at $909.28. Amazon stock closed higher for the eighth straight day, which represents its longest winning streak since August of 2014. Is there still an opportunity or room for online retailers, or has Amazon just simply buried all of the competition. If you look at what's going on right now with Amazon, this is one of those companies that is simply changing the world. I mean, let's put it in perspective. They're so powerful and so dominant. Walmart is changing their business plan to try to compete with Amazon. I mean, you know, Amazon at this point is is moving towards completely dominating online retail, and they're they're killing off many of the brick and mortar retailers along the way. And we're talking about retailers that have been busy in in business for a long, long time, just simply can't compete because of the drive of consumers for convenience and price, and they're just turning to the internet. And that's really where Amazon dominates. And and whether you love Amazon or not, the truth of the matter is, is they're killing off a lot of jobs because you have other stores closing. And it's not like because one store closes, all of a sudden Amazon is going to hire those people. True, Amazon will continue to grow and hire people, but they're not going to make up for the complete market difference of who they're putting out of business. Then when you look at what uh, Amazon is doing, they're, you know, they're launching into the grocery business now uh, called Amazon Fresh Pickup. They're, they have been exploring and continue to explore the whole drone delivery option. You know, if you look, if you look at what's happening now in, in malls, commercial real estate, uh, all that's going to get impacted because of vacancies of stores that are just not um, able to do enough business to stay alive. And there's going to be an enormous impact on the U.S. economy, I think, for years to come. And and with all that said, and with uh, Amazon's dominance and continuing dominance into the foreseeable future, you know, I don't want to I don't want to predict things here, but there's probably some room in their stock to continue to grow because I just don't see anybody right now in the market who can compete with them.